Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Cards, brought to you by whispersinink.net. And I am Jennifer. And I'm setting up Morning Paula. Setting up my pad so I can see all your comments. I have some cute little cards today. These cute little thank yous. Right here. Um, for those of you that make cards, do you carry cards in your purse or in your bag or in your vehicle or anywhere? I have to tell you, I have had the occasion just this week to give out either little thank yous or hello cards or whatever. And thankfully, I had some in my truck. Morton, Georgia. So here is our card today. I'm going to show you all the stuff that we're going to need to do it. This is just one of the, I have two made and we're going to make one in another color. And I've already made some other ones. But we are using Soft Suede, Rich Razzleberry, and the Grapefruit Grove as our colors. The Accented Blooms with the coordinating punch, our watercolor pencils, and blender pen. Have you used a blender pen before? If not, here is your opportunity to learn how to use it. That'll be our tip today. We're using a couple of different coordinating twines, just a simple little ribbon to give it a little extra something. And I'm going to put those to the side. Here is our watercolor pencils. But I don't know if you guys have heard. They are adding a whole nother color pack to these beautiful staple colors. Because there's real red, calypso coral, pumpkin pie, daffodil delight, old olive, Bermuda Bay, Pacific Point. Rich Razzleberry, Melon Mambo, Early Espresso, Basic Gray, Basic Black, and the Whisper White are in this current pack. Now, if I would have been planning ahead, I would have my paper ready on, but I'm grabbing it, on what the new colors are. And let's see if I can find that pretty quick. Oh. Yep, here it is. So the new color pack is going to have Balmy Blue, Cajun Craze, Cherry Cobbler, Coastal Cabana, Crushed Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, and Night of Navy in the new pack. So bringing in a lot of those new colors that were part of the color revamp. All right, so here's our stamp set. Here's our inks. We're not going to use these. I used these on the other ones already. Well, actually, we're going to use that, but we're going to use that in a minute. Here is our stamp that we're going to be using, and I kept that middle insert because I wasn't sure if, I could think of something else to do with it. So I kept a hold of that. We're going to put that to the side. And got to find all my pieces I made here. All right. Here is our, our um, layering piece. And I'm sorry, I'm folding a piece of paper. I have like... Seriously, six pieces with just one little thing on them, and I like to use a clean sheet for my coffee and cards. So, I know, being silly, I'm sure. 
Georgia understands. I know she does. Paula knows all about it. All right, so we're going to take this, and we're going to try to get as much of the pattern in as we can. And I can't see on top because the camera's in the way, so I'm hoping I got enough. Well, good enough. All right. And while we're stamping, although that's not straight, but only we will know, we're going to take our Grapefruit Grove. Morning, Jen. Nice of you to join us this morning. We're making little thank yous. And we're using the Accented Blooms stamp set. Uh, all right, there we go. And this is one you have to make sure you have enough ink on it because you won't be able to see the verse because it's going with the negative instead of just the word, the words or your sentiment, however you want to phrase it. We're going to take this and cut this out. Put that to the side because what we're going to do next, now that all the stamping is done, is we're going to take our colored pencils and we're going to pull them out. Now, could you color this whole entire thing? Definitely. Because of this video, I don't want it to be too, too long. I'm going to pick three colors, focus on just a couple of flowers, just enough like I did this one, just enough to make the flowers pop. So I'm going to start with the green, and you can go as light, and I like to change up how deep the green color is, because we only have the one green, so, but here's the thing. You can press harder and get a darker color. Same thing. What do we need the blender pen for? I hear somebody asking me that. I will show you in a minute. All right. We're going to take the blender pen, make sure there's no excess on it, and so you don't see the stroke marks. Can you see, I know, sorry, I, that one came in awfully quick. Can you see how there's stroke marks? You can see stroke marks on particularly this flower here. What the blender pen does is it blends, obviously, those stroke marks so you don't see them. Kind of moves the ink around a little bit too. I hope you guys can see that. And then we're gonna just make sure. So there's our green, wipe it off, just kinda like we do the aqua painter. That's kinda how you use the blender pen. What do you guys think so far? Pretty good, right? All right. We're going to use the same flowers as I did the last one, and but we're going to change the colors up a little bit. And this is just a matter of, for those people who find coloring relaxing, you can color in the whole thing. I am not one of those people. Hey, Becky. Hey, Donna. Oh, Becky, this is right up your alley, my coloring girl. Here you go. So we're kind of pulling that color a little bit with this blender pen. Highlight the edges, make them a little bit lighter. If, if you're not happy with how light those edges came, 
go ahead, take your pencil again and just darken it up. You guys, this is very forgiving in regards to color. Add the layers to get the look that you want. Can you see how when I added, we've got more dark in the in the middle and then that lighter color on the outside and it gives that, brings that uh, flower alive. Georgia says that the blender pen is awesome. It is totally awesome. All right, I think we're gonna go with pink on this. So maybe we'll do blue, let's do blue. Do blue on the water lily and we're gonna do it similar to how we did that other flower. For those that like to color, this is a very pretty stamp. We're gonna take this darker blue even, and we're gonna kind of just do a swirl around because we're gonna take the blender pen, make sure there's no excess, and we're just going to move that blue around. Move the excess and then draw that blue out. So not only does it get your stroke marks out, but it pulls that color out, easier to highlight. And then you can even go back with this white and pull in just a little bit of highlight. And I don't know that you guys are gonna be able to see that, but it kind of helps bring that flower out just a little. All right, there's our two flowers. Let's do one more. I think we're gonna go back to the orange and we'll make these marigolds. Real light flower coloring here. Just enough to... make a nice light, mix that color in. There we go. What do you guys think? While you're, while I'm waiting for you guys to comment, I'm gonna put dimensionals on our thank you. Good, right? All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're going to use this Grapefruit Grove as our little twine piece on here. And we're gonna tie it into a little bow. Don't want it too bulky. And here's the nice thing about this, guys, is that if you keep this in your car and you want to hand it to somebody, you don't have to have an envelope. Not really. There's that. We're going to take, are you guys there? Nobody, hello. I sure hope you guys haven't left me or fallen asleep. Make sure your thank you is the right way, obviously. I'm gonna put that on there. Soft suede is going to be our card base. <laughs> Morning, Kim. We're gonna use dimensionals again, and I just had them in my hand. Where'd I put them? I don't know, oh, here they are. 
Just the top and bottom. Quick and easy. Kim, are you guys enjoying your trip? I hope. George is busy watching. Are you in awe, Georgia? <laughs> All right, so here's, here's the two that you've seen already. Good morning, Joyce. And here's the third one that I had done already. And for some reason, there we go. Here's our thank you cards today. So easy, watercolors, blender pen. You can all do these. You can do these. Kim says coffee cards and a lake view. That would be perfect. You could be stamping this and coloring and watching the kids at the lake. There you go. That sounds like the perfect way to start your day. Anytime you've got watercolor pencils and a piece of paper, you're all good. Here's today's cards. You guys, if you like what you see today, please share this video with all of your friends. And... Please, if you want more information about stamp camps or blog posts or um, any events that I have going on, with, that's all located on the events page at whispersandink.net. Thank you for joining me today. Quick and easy card today, guys. Have a great day on this kind of muggy Saturday. Have a great day getting crafty. Join me next week. Bye. Why did that flip like that? <laughs>